This is Dhanush Patil, application engineer from Conceptia Software Technologies. Now let's learn about auto ballooning and creation of BOM in SOLIDWORKS. BOM, Bill of Material. It is usually created to give the clear picture about the parts present in an assembly. BOM is was manually created by doing a table by creating a table and making different columns and rows depending upon the requirement or, or requirement and the specification of the parts present in the an assembly so now we can create easily the BOM in SOLIDWORKS here I this is an assembly shell assembly so go to annotations under that option called table when you drop down there is a option called bill of materials bill of materials select the assembly and here few of the options are there just click ok you get a table with the parts of that an <coughs> of that assembly just place it somewhere on the drafting sheet so here there is item number part number description and quantity you can edit these columns rows depending upon your requirements and you can insert one more <coughs> one or few columns on right or left or you can add any number of rows so this is a simple way to create an bill of material for an assembly now let us learn about auto ballooning what is auto ballooning auto ballooning why it is done auto ballooning is done to give the numbers for different parts so that it can be recognized easily with the help of bill of materials so here in SOLIDWORKS we can easily give the ballooning for the parts present in the assembly so here we have a taskbar in that auto ballooning just click on auto ballooning and select the assembly so here are some options which you need to select like auto ballooning layout how you want the layout like it's up down bottom left side right side in a square shape or in the circular manner so here we select the right side and click ok and the parts present in the bill of material will be and the assembly will be given with a number so that they can be easily recognized in the drawing that's it for the day thank you